Hey there. Welcome back to AI Code King. Coding is a hard task. That's why, ever since the emergence of AI, people have started using AI in coding via tools like Copilot. And it is great and all, but there are some issues with it. For example, the price. GitHub Copilot costs $10 a month. And who can afford that when you are underpaid yourself? Even if you could pay that, you might not want your sensitive code to potentially leak to Microsoft. I mean, they are even going to record your screens now. So, I don't know. Well, if there are these issues, then how do we break free from Copilot? One way is to stop using Copilot and start using Vim. Because, let's be real, Vim will automatically make you a Chad programmer and you won't need any Copilot anymore. But that's hard. So, we'll need to find another way. To start, we'll need to find a good LLM that excels in coding. Then, we'll need to find an extension that can harness the power of the LLM and make it a co-pilot in our editor. To find the LLM, I started looking on the internet. After some searches, I was guided to this leaderboard. This is the Evil Plus leaderboard. Evil Plus is a benchmark that evaluates AI coders with rigorous tests. So, this should be a good way to know the best coding model. Now, as you can see here, the top coding models are OpenAI's GPT-4 models. But just below these three models, you can see the CodeQuen 1.5 model. This is an open source model, and if it can be in the top five of the leaderboard, I think this model should be enough for us. It is also a small 7B parameter model, so it can run without high resources. It also allows a 64K context limit, which will be beneficial for using larger code bases. Another thing is that it supports 92 coding languages. It is fine-tuned and based on the Quen 1.5 model, which is one of the best models overall. Now that our model is figured out, we'll need to find our extension. The extension wasn't very difficult to find either. I have covered this co-pilot alternative called ContinueDev in some of my earlier videos. So, we'll be using this. It allows auto-completion, chat, code highlighting, and you can connect it with most AI providers if you ever wish to give other models a try. You can use it with a whole code base, or select a chunk of the code and use it as context. It has tons of features. You can use it on all operating systems because it's just in VS Code extension. You can use it even on Temple OS. Anyway, so that's what we'll be using. Another thing that we'll be using is Olama. Olama will help us serve our models as an API to be used by Continue Dev. I'll also be telling you how to use it with Grok, which is a model inference API that is extremely fast and allows rate-limited usage for free. So, you can use it if you want to use it without a GPU, although it wouldn't be local this way. Now, with these things figured out, let's start the setup process and test them out. First, head over to Olama. Click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page. Search for CodeQuen, and you'll find this model. Open it, and you'll see this page. Now, all you need to do is copy this command, paste it in your terminal, and run it. Once you do that, Olama will download and install the model. This will take some time based on your internet and machine configuration. Also, you can use any other model over here as well, if you want. It shouldn't be an issue. Once it has been installed, you'll see this chat interface on your screen. Send a message and check if it's working. Once you have checked everything, go ahead and open up VS Code. Now, go to the extension option. Search for Continue, and you'll find this extension. Click on the Install button and wait for a few minutes. Once installed, you'll see this icon on the sidebar. Click on it, and you'll see this. 
Now look at the bottom. Here, you'll see some trial models like GPT-4. These are rate-limited trial models that you can use for free. But that does not concern us. We are going to click on this Add button. Once you click it, you'll see the Olama option. Go ahead and click on it. Choose the Auto Detect option. Once you do that, you'll be taken back to the main page. Now, in the bottom drop-down, you'll see the Code Quen model. Go ahead and select it. Now, send anything you want to ask, and it will start generating it. Let's create a new file and generate code in that. To do it, go to the file and hit Control and I. Once you hit it, you'll see this prompt box appear. Enter what you want to generate, and your code will start being generated. Once it gets generated, you can accept or reject the changes. You can also select the code you want to chat about by referencing the code. To do that, select the code, and in the command palette, select Add Highlighted Code to Context, and the chat box will appear on the left with the code referenced. You can ask for changes to the code. If you think the code is correct, you can use the Insert at Cursor option to insert the code where your cursor is in your code file. Pretty amazing. What about the auto-completion? To configure it, click on this setting button. Once you click it, this file will open up. In the auto-complete tab, change the model to code quen. Once it looks like this, save it. Now, go ahead on any of your code, and you'll see that auto-completion will start working. It's really amazing. It works just like GitHub Copilot. It's just as accurate as GitHub Copilot as well. Let me also tell you how you can use it with Grok if you don't want to use it locally or if you don't have a GPU. To use it with that, we'll first need to get an API key from Grok. To do that, go to Grok's site and sign up. Once done, go to the API keys option, then create a new API key. Once done, copy the API key. Now, come back to VS Code, and in the Continue extension, click on the Add button. Choose Grok. Paste the API key, and choose the Auto Detect option. Now, in the bottom drop-down, you can see your Grok models. Go ahead and send a message, and you'll see your messages generated almost instantly. This Copilot is really amazing. It's all local, and you get all the features you would ever want from it. You can also use it with multiple other API providers, as well like OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, and whatnot. It's really amazing. I really like this one. Go ahead and give it a try, and let me know your results in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.